the microwave magician. Frank Pringle has found a way to squeeze oil and gas from just about anything. Everything that goes into Frank Pringle's recycling machine, a piece of tire, a rock, a plastic cup, turns to oil and natural gas seconds later. I've been told the oil companies may try to assassinate me, Pringle says without sarcasm. The machine is a microwave emitter that extracts the petroleum and gas hidden inside everyday objects, or at least everything made with hydrocarbons, which it turns out is most of what's around us. Every hour, the first commercial version will turn out 10 tons of auto waste. Tires, plastic, vinyl into enough natural gas to produce 17 million BTUs of energy. It will use 956,000 of those BTUs to keep itself running. Pringle created the machine about 10 years ago after he drove by a massive tire fire and thought about the energy being released. He went home and threw bits of tire in the microwave emitter he'd been working with for another project. It turned to what looked like ash, but a few hours later, he returned and found a black puddle on the floor of the unheated workshop. Somehow, he'd struck oil, or rather, he had extracted it. Petroleum is composed of strings of hydrocarbon molecules. When microwaves hit the tire, they crack the molecular chain and break it down into its component parts. Carbon black and ash-like material, and hydrocarbon gases, which can be burned or condensed into liquid fuel. Pringle figured that some gases from the microwaved tire had lingered, and the cold air in the shop had condensed them into diesel. If the process had worked on tires, he thought, it should work on everything with hydrocarbons. The trick was in finding the optimal microwave frequency for each material out of 10 million possibilities. Pringle has spent 10 years and $1 million homing in on frequencies for hundreds of materials. In 2004, he teamed up with engineer pal Hawk Hogan to make the machine commercial. Their first order is under construction in Rockford, Illinois. It's a $5.1 million microwave machine the size of a small bus called Hawk, bound for an auto recycler in Long Island, New York. The U.S. military may use Hawks in Iraq on waste such as water bottles and food containers. Back at the shop, Pringle is still zapping new materials. A sample labeled bituminous coal goes in and 15 seconds later, Pringle ignites the resulting gas. You see, he says, why they may want to kill me. 